Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about class and object in Dart. In our previous section, we already discussed about what is class and what is object. Let's uh, revise one again once again and let's see a complete demo of class and object in Dart. Okay? Let me share my screen. Here you can see. Uh, class is a blueprint for creating object first you need to create a class then you can create object from that class okay a class define the properties and the method that the object will have i hope you understood this point very very clearly if you want to learn more about uh, class in that then you can move to the previous section okay and what is object uh, an object is an instance of a class Okay, you can create multiple object from a same class. Class is like a blueprint. Okay, if I have a blueprint of house, then I can create multiple house by using that blueprint. Okay, and uh, if you want to learn more about object, then you can also go to previous section. Okay, and let's see a complete example. Okay, we already discussed about class and object. So why we are doing this here? We are doing this here because to improve your knowledge. Okay, now and my knowledge also. It will be beneficial for me also. Okay, let me create a new file. Okay, I will say interest. Interest and we will make simple interest calculator using object oriented programming okay i'll say interest dot dot and let's create a class called interest we with the help of class you can create your own class with your own uh, desired name that is very very beneficial okay interest I'll say double principal. You need to write question mark here for null safety. We'll also discuss about this later. Double time and double rate. Everything is double, okay? And okay. These are the properties, okay? These are the properties. Some people also call it as fields. okay i'll check out here let me open a uh, class and object i'll move to this class section here you can see properties are also known as fields attribute or data members okay you need to understand this concept okay fields attribute or data member also properties okay these all are the same and method or function you can create multiple function you can create multiple properties okay for uh, this time i will only create one function that is double i will return the double value calculate interest or I'll only say double calculate okay let's say double simple interest is equal to principal you need to write exclamation into time you need to write exclamation here also into R exclamation and then divide by 100 okay this is the formula let's return this simple interest okay or you can also on uh, you can also write return principal into time into rate by 100 okay now let's move to our main file and here i will remove all the code okay just main function here and i will import interest dot dot import interest dot dot and let's create object of interest interest i is equal to interest and i will say i dot principal is equal to 5000 and i dot rate is equal to 3 percent 
and i dot time time is two years okay let's calculate interest i will say i dot calculate this will return value we need to store that value here double si is equal to and we can say print the simple interest is interest is dollar si okay in this way you can find the simple interest using class okay if i run this program here you can see the simple interest is 300 got printed okay here i is object and this interest is class and uh, this uh, this is method of that class okay you can see this is a uh, class name class name is interest and we have three properties principal time and rate and we have one method that is calculate which is responsible to calculate the simple interest and return that value here in the main method we have created object of uh, interest class and we have uh, we set the value of principal rate and time for that object that is i and uh, here you can see we have calculated the interest and printed that interest in this way you can use class and object in that okay let's move here and let's see more about this one okay here are three examples you can also practice these examples and here is one thing a class is declared using a class keyword this uh, okay we already discussed about this one okay here you can see uh, examples of class and object here are three examples you can practice it and here is also one challenge for you create a class home with name address and number of room properties create a method called display which print out the values of the properties create object from home and set the values of the properties call the display method to print out the properties okay that properties values you need to print that value and uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question regarding class and object in that then comment below i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end thank you